that the Denver Nuggets have been getting and how the media has really been trying to make it about the Lakers. It's not, it's not, it's not that the Denver Nuggets are doing well. It's that the Lakers are doing something wrong. Um, and he pretty much went at a lot of the media members that were basically discounting and, dare I say, uh, flat out disrespecting um, the excellence of the Denver Nuggets. So what we want to do is want to play exactly uh, what he had to say here to the reporter, and then we're going to really come back and you know uh, get into his comments here. So take a listen to what Mike Malone had to say there. Uh, I think a lot of our guys, to be honest, they may not admit this or not. You know, uh, you win game one of the playoffs, and all everybody talked about was the Lakers. Let's be honest. That was a national narrative was, hey, the Lakers are fine. They're down 1-0, but they figured something out. No one talked about Nikola just had a historic performance. He's got 13 triple doubles now, third all time. What he's doing is just incredible, but the narrative wasn't about the Nuggets. The narrative wasn't about Nikola. The narrative is about the Lakers and their adjustments. So, you know, you put that in your pipe, you smoke it, and you come back, and you know what? We're going to go up 2-0. Do you think that narrative changes tonight? Well, I don't care if it does, you know what I mean? Because we know our narrative in that locker room. We know that we're not done. We haven't done anything yet. All right, you got to win a game on the other team's home court if you really want to do something in a series. And we know how great that team is, especially on their home court. So uh, we're not celebrating. You know, this is not cause for celebration. This is a cause to continue to dig deep and find ways to be better. So you heard what Mike Malone had to say, right? Um, and to be totally honest with you, I think the head coach, he has some points. He has some points, right? The media, I mean, the Lakers pretty much dominate sports media. They do, right? They're the number one team every single day. We've discussed this about shows like, for example, Undisputed. Uh, they usually have three go-to topics. They have Tom Brady, LeBron, slash the Lakers, and then they have the Dallas Cowboys, and then they just kind of switch them up. But those that's the, the main staples of their show. Now, ESPN First Take, I've noticed that they they uh, they have a more diverse range of topics that they talk about on a daily basis. But, daily basis. but for the most part, it's, it's predominantly Laker content. Right. And I think it's one of the reasons why a lot of people that consume content on YouTube assume that, hey, uh, if you're not talking about the Lakers, you're not going to be successful. Like some people have accused us about this on the channel. Oh, you only need the Lakers to get views. And I'm like, guys, it's a totally different game on, on YouTube. But they're like, no, 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 no. So I understand. Right. The Lakers dominate the airwaves. And I think one of the reasons for that is one of one of many reasons. But I think one of the big the, the major reasons is, number one, the size of their audience. California, I don't even know what's the, let me, I mean, let me just check right here. Let me see what the population of California is. I mean, I'm, it must be some huge population uh, of California. California has how many people? 39 million people. 